who were Prophet Muhammad's 11 wives. 1. Khadija bint Qubaylid. Khadija was a wealthy widow. At first she hired Muhammad as a business agent. She was impressed by his work and proposed to him. Khadija was 40, while Muhammad was 25. She bore him six children. Their marriage lasted for 25 years, until her death. Muhammad didn't take other wives before her. He relied on her support and judgment. 2. Sada bin Sama. She was also a widow. Sada and her first husband were early converts to Islam. Muslims were persecuted, so they had to move. Sada's husband died, leaving her with five or six children. She was around 30 at the time. Soon Muhammad married her. He took another wife. Three years after that, there are reports that he wanted to divorce her. 3. Aisha bin Abu Bakr. Aisha's father was Muhammad's closest friend. Records suggest she was betrothed to him at 6 or 7. Muhammad was around 50. Aisha was the only virgin he married. She was intelligent and scholarly. She memorized the entire Quran. Muhammad died in her arms when she was 18 or 19. She carried his message for over 40 years after his death. 4. Hafsa bin Tumar. Her father was Muhammad's friend. Her first husband was killed at the Battle of Badr. Hafsa was only 18 when she was widowed. She soon married the Prophet. She was young and intelligent. Hafsa could spend hours reading the Quran. 5. Zainab bint Kuzayma. Like Hafsa, she was widowed at the Battle of Badr. Muhammad felt responsible to provide for her. She was kind and charitable. People called her the mother of the poor. Zainab fell ill and died three months after the wedding. 6. Um Salama bin Tabu Umayya. She was another widow whom the Prophet married. Her first husband died of wounds in the Battle of Ahud. He was Muhammad's foster brother. Muhammad felt the need to provide for their children. He married Um Salama to make it official. She accompanied him on his many expeditions. She outlived all his other wives and died at 84. 7. Juveria bin Talharif. Juveria was captured in one of the battles. Her father was the chieftain of Banamustalik tribe. Muslims defeated him and killed her husband. She married the Prophet, and her tribe converted to Islam. Hundreds of captives were set free as a result. 8. Zainab bin Josh. Zainab was Muhammad's cousin. He first arranged her marriage to his adopted son Zaid. Zaid was the Prophet's former slave, but the girl was ambitious and had aristocratic lineage. Her husband's status wasn't enough. Muhammad allowed them to divorce. He married Zainab soon after. She finally got the high status she wanted. 9. Umm Habiba bin Tabra Sufyan. She was also known as Ranla. Her first husband died, leaving her with one daughter. Ranla was left with no means of support. The Prophet heard it and offered to marry her. 10. Safiya bin Haye ibn Aqtab. Safiya was a noble woman from the Jewish Banu Nadir tribe. Muhammad defeated her tribe. He executed her father and husband. Safiya agreed to adopt Islam and married the Prophet. It was a political alliance to reconcile the enemies. 11. Maymunah bin Tal Harif. Maymuna was a devout Muslim. She offered Muhammad to marry her. The Prophet agreed and highly valued her devotion. He called her Bara, meaning the blessed, 